Hey everyone, it's Melissa. I'm here with another pregnancy update. As of yesterday, I was 15 weeks pregnant um, and everything's going great. We had an ultrasound at one day before 14 weeks um, and I was kind of secretly hoping that maybe we would be able to tell the gender because it was at my high risk OB's office and they have like this super duper ultrasound machine there. It's like high def and you can see a lot, you know, compared to um, my regular OB's office, their ultrasound machine. It's great because they have an ultrasound machine in the office, so I don't have to go somewhere else. Um, but it's like a dinosaur. I swear it was made in like 1970 or something, probably before I was born. Um, but anyway, so we have the ultrasound and I didn't even get any pictures. We didn't even try to find the gender because my husband was with me and my our son was there. He's 17 months old and he was like flipping out I don't know he does not like to be in the exam room with me or well I mean he likes to be with me but then as soon as somebody else comes in he gets really unhappy even with my husband there holding him I don't know what's he didn't always do that so I don't know maybe it's just the age he's getting to the point where he's maybe he is understanding more maybe he remembers his last doctor's appointment or something I don't know he used to be great at his appointments too, but not so much anymore. <laughs> he's he's not happy. Once we walk in the room, he's not happy. So, oh well. Anyway, um, so I do have an ultrasound this coming Tuesday, and I that'll be one day before 16 weeks. Um, so my weeks flip over on Wednesday, and um, my high risk office the doctor that I see she's only here on Tuesdays um, the rest of the time she's out in Boston and if I can avoid making that drive out there I'd rather not so um, I say anyway I see her on Tuesdays and so hopefully this coming Tuesday since I'll be so close to 16 weeks um, we're hoping we'll be able to tell the gender so my guess is girl all the way 100 percent girl because this pregnancy I just feel so different from the last one when I was pregnant with my son I feel like it was great I mean I don't know I just I wanted to be pregnant forever because I felt wonderful when I was pregnant with him I think there was a little bit of queasiness in the beginning but um, nothing nothing compared to this I mean I'm 15 weeks and I still it I don't know, it doesn't show any sign of letting up. I mean, I'm not throwing up anymore, but I do feel nauseous a lot of the time. And sometimes um, with the season change, I had like a lot of stuffy nose and, and like an irritated throat and stuff. And sometimes I would cough and it would just turn into like a gag, like the, the queasiness. It's right there. You know, I'm not throwing up, but it's just like I can't even cough to clear my throat without it turning into a gag. I don't know. And I can't brush my back teeth. I mean, I do it, but it makes me gag every time. So, um, yeah, I have, uh, food aversions. <laughs> like there's a lot of stuff that I'm just, um, normally I would love. And now I'm just like, Ugh, I don't want it. Um, I have indigestion that actually seems like maybe it's getting a little bit better. Cause I did have spaghetti sauce last night and I had spaghetti sauce on Sunday and I didn't get any indigestion but sometimes it'll come out of nowhere um, you know I can eat a cracker and then like I have acid so I don't know um, I'm just looking at my nose um, yeah I'm, I'm more tired this time I mean last night I fell asleep at like nine o'clock my husband and I were trying to watch a show and I fell asleep at 9 and I slept until 8 this morning when my son woke up. Um, I feel great now though, so maybe I needed the rest. Um, and I think I have more like irritability this time. <laughs> so all those things, I don't know, I just really think that it's gonna be a girl. But we'll see. Um, hopefully on Tuesday. I haven't gained any weight. I since we started the whole IVF process, I think it's it's somewhere around 15 pounds that I've lost. Um, and it's not coming back yet, even though I am eating. I'm not 
starving myself by any means. I, I'm maybe not eating as much as I did before, but it's just because I feel full and I just don't want any more. So, um, that's it. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, everything is going well. Uh, I don't have any, you know, no, no bleeding or anything like that or cramping. I don't think there's anything bad going on. I have the cerclagen, so I'm happy about that. And yeah, everything's going great. I, the only other thing is I definitely, definitely have round ligament pains. If I'm asleep and I, you know, go to turn the wrong way or something, I definitely feel that pull. And I've been feeling that for quite a while now. So I don't know if it's because it's my second pregnancy. It starts earlier, but I definitely felt that um, sooner, I think, than I did with my son. My belly actually is starting to pop out a little bit, too. Um, I'm not the skinniest girl in the whole world, so <laughs> it's uh, the baby probably just pushing some other stuff out. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I can definitely tell that it's starting to pop out a little bit definitely I would say sooner than with my son. With my son, I was probably like 20 weeks and I barely had a little bump. Uh, it took a long time, but but eventually it, it, you know, the baby belly was definitely there. So I guess that's all for the pregnancy for now. A couple other things we have going on. Um, well, actually one major thing is that we're going on vacation at the end of next week. We're leaving for two weeks. We're going on a road trip down to the Carolinas with our son and some family and I am quite nervous about taking this long drive with an 18 month old well he'll be like 17 and a half months so whatever a one and a half year old my friend is letting us borrow her uh, DVD player for the car so hopefully that will help I know Mickey Mouse Clubhouse always seems to get his attention no matter what else is going on. <laughs> he loves Mickey Mouse and some other shows too. I mean, he doesn't watch a ton of television, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. He loves Mickey and he's happy and he's smart, so whatevs. <laughs> um, but if any of you guys have any like advice on how to keep him entertained, we're not going to drive through the night because I don't want to start off my vacation like having driven through the night and not gotten any sleep and I have a really hard time sleeping in the car so it's not like my husband and I can do driving shifts and I don't think I'd be able to fall asleep anyway because I can't trust my husband to drive when he's tired because he has fallen asleep at the wheel not before I met him he fell asleep at the wheel and he actually drove off a highway in the middle of the night um thank god he was okay obviously but um, I've caught him a few times in like, you know, a, a late summer afternoon. We've been busy all day and we're driving home and I've caught him, you know, closing his eyes for a little bit too long. <laughs> so in the middle of the night, on a long drive, I just don't know. I'd, I'd much rather just do it during the day. So we're going to go halfway, stop at a hotel and then drive the rest of the way. Um, so yeah, if anybody has any advice on how to keep him entertained. You know, I'm bringing little toys and we'll have snacks and stuff and we'll stop and let him run around a few times. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I think that's about it. I want to keep this under 10 minutes. I don't like making really long videos. Um, but yeah, my son's napping and when he gets up, we're going to head out for the day. I think we're going to go to the park because it's gorgeous today. It's kind of a workout for me when I take him to the park because... He's only one and a half, so he's still a little bit wobbly because he, the other thing is he's the size of like a two-year-old, but, um, so I'm constantly having to like pick him up and everything and being pregnant and my back hurts. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being lazy. No, I'm not being lazy. It's just, it's tiring. But anyway, um, we're going to go to the park anyway because he loves playing there. Um, oh, and we went to the park the other day with daddy and the zoo and we saw some animals so I'll put a little snippet in at the end um, but I'll talk to you guys later bye
rocks. Can you see keystone? Uh oh, here comes the goat again, Vincent. Look. Vincent, look, goat. <laughs> no feed him rocks. <laughs> I don't think the goat wants your stick either. <laughs> He's trying to feed a rock. <laughs> 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 <laughs>